God. Help us to cry and weep with our brothers and sisters. God, I pray that the things that have been unjust, the things that have been wrong, God, that today you would start the healing process. Hi, my name is Mark Poland, and we are at We Pray Philadelphia. This is an opportunity for uh, local pastors and churches and people all around the city to come together to pray for the healing and restoration of our city. Uh, many of the pastors that you see here lead great churches in the city, and we decided to drop our logos and our egos because we love God, we love people, and we love our city. So thank you for being a part of this prayer movement. We believe that prayer uh, changes things, and if we pray to God, God will hear our prayers, and he'll be able to answer us and bring about change in the city of Philadelphia. Thank you. My name is Brad Leach. I'm the lead pastor at City Life Church in South Philly. I'm standing here with some pastor friends from across the city. You know, crisis is an accelerator, and one of the things that we feel like is being ex accelerated by this race crisis and this health crisis in our city are relationships between churches and congregations. We need each other like never before. We need to be on one team moving forward together. And so we've had all kinds of opportunities to get together just to pray for the welfare of our city. We're doing that today at We Pray Philadelphia, right down here at City Hall. We're praying for justice. We're praying for healing. We're praying for the leaders of our city. And I just encourage you, whenever you're watching this, pause and pray that God will do a deep healing work in our city right now. God, we come to you right now first, God, just thanking you for being you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for being God. And God, in this time of uncertainty, God, in this time of question, God, we ask that you move and God, that you have your way. God, help us lay aside our agenda. God, help us lay aside our itinerary. God, help us put down our platform. God, help us be open to you being God. We're here um, at City Hall. Uh, at the birthplace of the nation uh, for a second birth. Um, I believe that we've experienced a perfect storm. We experienced a global pandemic. We experienced a uh, earth-shaking uh, economy drop. Uh, and then, and then we had, I can't breathe. That is a perfect storm. And we're here today for a perfect prayer for the city. Ben Franklin said it best that when the unaffected are as outraged as the affected, change will come. Father, today we pray. We pray for our city. We pray for our nation. We pray for each other. And specifically right now, God, we want to pray for our government leaders and elected officials. For Mayor Kinney, for Governor Wolf, for President Trump, and for our state and local representatives. So I'm State Representative Morgan Stevens. I represent the 192nd Legislative District out in West Philadelphia. One thing that I'm really encouraged about is to just see so many people from different walks of life coming together to envision and imagine not just a new city of Philadelphia, but a new commonwealth, but also a new nation. Oftentimes, we always kick off our year honoring Dr. Martin Luther King, but we never use the rest of the 364 days to honor his legacy, to move the needle in public policy, to ensure that our sisters and our brothers are in a position that are just as good as we are. And we are here today to pray for the city, to pray for the Commonwealth, to pray for the nation. And again, prayer is never unpopular. Prayer will get us through this moment in time. And again, prayer will allow us to see a new vision for a society that takes care of everyone and leaves nobody behind. Together, we can do any and everything that we want and change the world in a the, in the better way. And so today, together, Father, all of us who are here, we release faith over our city. We release your hope over our city. We release again your joy to fill this city. We release your peace. And may we all flow in not just filial love, brotherly love. May we be filled with agape love. In Jesus' name. The cure for a divided, broken world has never changed. It's always been a united church. It's always been a united people. And it starts with our religious leaders uniting. Revive your revivalists again.
Heal your healers again. Lead your leaders again. Father, will you expose so we can repent of the redemption in our souls? So use this moment to redeem humanity as you've redeemed us, as you've changed us, as you've healed us, as you've forgiven us. We cry out for the redemptive nature of God to be the new chapter of humanity in our city. Because this is our city, therefore, it is our responsibility. We believe that every setback can be a setup for you to get creative with our lives and our work and our city and our future. So we ask you to do what you do best and to restore. We ask you to restore every business that has been set back by this health crisis. We pray for restaurants and barber shops and coffee shops and tech companies and hospitals and doctor's offices and travel agencies and entertainment venues and so many others. God, that today you would start the healing process and start it through us. We are open and surrendered to your power working in and through us. So God, help us restore. We, got, we just pray right now for physical healing for all those that have been affected by the COVID-19, all those that have been affected by this racial division, all those that have been affected, Lord God, in their physical body. I just pray for healing to take place. God, just like you were appointed and anointed to bind the brokenhearted, today, God, we pray for that spirit to rest in us. giving us the ability to use our voices to pray for one another and pray for our city. Thank you for giving us the ability to call on you and having the faith to believe that you will hear our prayers. Thank you that you are near to all who call on your name. Father, we pray for your kingdom to come, that your will be done in Philadelphia as it is in heaven. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your promise that you are always with us and you will never leave us. Thank you for your incredible sacrifice so that we might have freedom and have life. Thank you for forgiving us for when we don't thank you enough for all you are, all that you do, and all that you have given. We believe that when we don't know what to do, when we don't have the answer, that prayer is our initial response. It's the best answer when we don't have a strategy or a plan. Today we're here with pastors from um, over the city, throughout the area, the Philadelphia area, praying for our city, praying for healing, uh, praying for justice. I'm really excited to be here with this morning with my friends. I think being able to come together as a body of Christ and talk about the issues that need to be spoken about is so important and to support our community, particularly our black brothers and sisters. Glad to be here. Today we have come together as many churches to pray and just to help unite our city through the struggles of the pain of COVID, through the pain of racial injustice, we just came together today, 10 churches, to pray and make sure that we could unite and heal our city. I would like to thank everybody who came out, and I want to encourage you all to continue to pray. Continue to pray for our city of brotherly and sisterly love, that we, we unite together, we stay together, we pray together, and we make our city better and whole once again.